thousand dollar sheets Waiting for you on some thousand dollar sheets I got caught a three on repeat Back shots to the beat of the milli on yo Got me yucking like you got a milli on yo He say I'm the goat, you the Welcome back to my channel. It's Alice Walker here from AliceWalker.Landy and how are you guys? I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. Before we get into this video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please don't forget to hit subscribe button, like, comment and come be a part of my family. I welcome every single one of you. If you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for sticking with me all as well. Today's look is summer date night look. It's not your traditional summer look but I just decided to do something different. If you like this look and you want to recreate it or you want to know how I achieved this look, please stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Love you guys. And before we begin, today's video is going to be a talk through video. I have not done a talk through video. This will be my very first time. So guys, bear with me. Before we get into the makeup, I've already primed my face using the Benefit Professional. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing. It keeps my shiny in place. So now we're going to be going to my eye. I will be using the LA Pro Conceal in the color Warm Honey to prime my eye before my eyeshadow goes on. I've got my mirror there but it's very far so I cannot see that far. So I will be using my little mirror to do my eye. I'm going to blend it in. I'm going to set my eye with Blush Up Buttercup. I love this one. I always set my eye because it makes it very easy for the eyeshadow to go on. I'm using the Lime Crime Venus 3. Look at the colors in there. I haven't actually used this yet. Yeah, I'll be using these two. These two purple. One, two, three. I'm using this color as my transition shade. Whoa, it is so pigmented. Such a gorgeous color. I'll be using this dark one for my crease and also the outer corner of my eye. Blend it in a little bit more. So I'm using the same brush, going in with this one on my lid. Just to intensify it a little bit more and make it a little bit more darker, the, the crease, I'm going in with the paradise. So we're going to be putting paradise on the outer corner of the lid and there it is. I'll be going in with heavenly. So that's heavenly. I'll be putting it on the corner of my eye. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a wing using is Romel London Glamour is in the color black glamour. It's very dark. I love this. Before we apply the false lashes, I'm going to be putting a little bit of a mascara on my eye and it's called uh, Rimmel London Scandal Eyes and it's Wild Wings. Apparently it's meant to be good. I mean, I haven't used it, so this will be my first time using it. This actually helps the false lashes to go on um, a little bit more easier because I have really fine lashes. There's this product, I don't know what it's called. I'll find out the name and I'll let you know. I started using it because I was told that it helps the lashes grow a little bit but every single time I applied it on my lashes 
it went in my eye and my eye was red every morning I had red eyes so I thought why the heck am I going to be walking around with red eye only because I want long lashes that is not on so I stopped using it this is the lashes I'm going to be using is the Allure and I did the most wanted I'm going to be doing my foundation so i'm using mary Kay time wise is a matte wear finish and it's in the color bronze five Ooh. it's a little bit too orange oh the fun the fun stop blowing we're going to be going in with my favorite concealer which is the la pro conceal in the color phone make sure you blend it really well you want everything to look seamless and I'm going to be doing the same on the other side blending it really well guys I love this sponge I don't know what it is but it's very tiny and it goes in all the corners next I'm going to set my face with Sasha buttercup that's my favorite I can't do without this I always say I want to change it but for some weird reason I always end up coming back to this because it is so good it does the job perfectly I think it's been on for way too long, so I'm gonna be wiping it off. I'm going to be contouring my face a little bit with the Nubian palette too. The eyeshadow, I love it. I normally use it to contour my face, and it does a brilliant job. The color Kenya. I will put it on the screen for you to see. to blend it out really well you want everything to mesh together so now I'm going to set my face with a Clinique pressed powder in the color stay brandy For the highlighter, we're going to be using the Laura Select New York, I'm guessing that's how it's pronounced, in the color Gilded Honey. And for my blush, I'm going to be using the color Morocco from Juvia's Palette 2. I love using it. It actually really complements my skin tone. So even though it's an eyeshadow, I always use it for my cheeks. And for my lips today, I said we're going to go for bold lips. I'm not sure if this is actually going to go with the lips, but I want it to do bright red. It's just an experiment. We're just going to experiment and see how it turns out. I hope it turns out good. So it's the next liquid um, lipstick in the color. Look. 
No, I don't like it. It doesn't go together. It doesn't go together. So we're gonna be wiping it off. It just didn't work. The lipstick I applied earlier, it was just way too dramatic for the look that I'm going for. So I changed it. I've decided to go for this one. This one is just a simple lip gloss from Ramel London again. And it's 460 yours forever. Stay glossy. This one is much better. guys this is the final look i hope you like this one and i think this lip gloss goes better with the eyeshadow that i've done thank you very much for watching god bless take care bye mm -hmm. did you start again yeah